Hey guys and girls, welcome back to another beautiful video on this beautiful channel, on this beautiful day. How you guys and girls doing? Hope you're doing great as always. Please check out the description box for all the nice links. Also drop a like, subscribe if you like the content. Uh, and here we are. We're going to be working on the GUI for the player. And that GUI is going to be built so we can, uh, we can show off all our beautiful attribute component stuff that we got going. So, where do we start? Well, we do have a GUI type um, type of system already, but that is more for like, you know, just general stuff, buttons. Maybe you have um, some type of, what do we have? What do we have? Some drop down lists and stuff, um, stuff like that. We don't really have a player GUI. Now, I would love that. That's, that's something I want to do. So I'm pretty much going to... Uh, just look at what the hell this is. Wait, what is this? It should be in GUI. Wait, hold on a second here. GUI. Okay. All right, so I want to make a GUI specially designed for the player. And here we're going to spend a lot of time. We're going to add all kinds of stuff, you know, uh, health bars, all that stuff. So make it look real nice. Um, but we will, of course, just start off by making a little class here. And we'll just call it player player GUI okay player GUI and this class isn't gonna have any base class it's just gonna be a simple little class here all right and it should be able to take in uh, attributes from the player or the player itself and then display them and to do this we need to be sure in what our player is gonna have there we go. And we're pretty much covered that in the attribute component. Uh, so we have all our attributes, EXP. So we see here we're probably going to need some health bars, stuff like that. Probably going to make an inventory screen. Um, probably, what do you call it? Character sheet screen, kind of, stuff like that. So pretty much going to just start with that. Um, okay, okay, but let's start with something very simple. Let's start with the health bar, okay? Now, a good thing to do in the player GUI is to actually give it a player uh, to to work with. So if I just go in here and I say include, whoops, I don't know what the hell I just spelled, include player.h, and then we'll say class play, why can't I spell today? Where are my fingers? I'm fat finger and everything, there we go. So we're going to work with the player and it's start it's going to start off with having a player pointer. All right. And we're going to give it the player pointer. We're going to assign it at the start here in the constructor. So let's go to the CPP file. Boom. We're just going to say this player equals player. Easy peasy. All right. So we set that up. Easy, easy, easy. No big deals. All right, so now we have access to some stuff. Now we need to open up player and we need to think about how we're going to do this. Now we have our component, attribute component created right here. And I wanted to do something with that as well. I want to, I want you to open that up and I want you to go into the CPP file of it and pretty much right in here we got to say plus one after the level, after each one of these level thingies here. And then in this one, you got to be careful. You got to give it, you got to put this level in between two parentheses and then say plus one right there. And this is going to let us kind of start off our character at level. We won't level him up automatically uh, if we give him a level one here so it, it will be cool it will kind of calculate the exp next for the next level instead so it'll be a little better we'll just work with that instead um so just put a one in here in the player.cpp and you should be good now i need to think about how we're going to get this attribute component out of the player a one way could be to get the attribute component simply and that is uh that is a way we could actually get away with here if I just make an accessor here in player, not an entity, I'm just going to do a 
accessors area here and I'm just gonna say attribute component pointer get attribute component okay very simple and that should just be able to return our attribute component. So uh, the, the reason it's taking me some time to do this, I know it might be simple, is if it's a good way to do it or not. You know, um, I don't want to, I don't want to do it if it doesn't make sense. You know, is it is a good thing to just give all the attributes out like this? Probably not. But in our case for the GUI, we probably have to do it. So otherwise we would have to make a lot of small functions, get HP, get all that bullshit. I don't want to do that just yet um, but to just to try it out let's see here um, functions to so obviously avoid update cause float uh, let's see cause flow DT in case we want to have some moving objects and then void render uh, SF render target reference target like that once those are done go ahead and define those there you go okay boom boom easy peasy uh, let's go ahead and check them out let's see so here we go update all that stuff functions good good no problems no problems since we have the player already set up here, we don't have to do any any of these updates in the in the uh, what do you call it in the player itself. Now the only thing we're gonna gotta have to think about is where do we want this player GUI to be? Do we want it to be in player or do we want it to be in the game state? And I would say the game state because there you have access to some more stuff. Uh, you don't have to put this in itself, and you don't get the circular. Um, dependency thingy like this so we're probably gonna put it in the game state so let me just go ahead and close this down close that down as well and go into the game state that H here and now we gotta think so we got our player we got a pause menu now we gotta include include uh, player GUI Okay, pretty sure, pretty sure. Class player GUI. Okay, so that should be fine. I don't know where I actually include the player here. I think it's included through one of these, most probably. But, you know, that's cool. Uh, there we go. Now. Now, we have our player right here. Okay, there we go. Player GUI pointer player GUI good and we're gonna start off by creating it and we have init players void init player GUI okay now if we, in case we have multiple players we're probably gonna have to customize this a little bit but we won't get into that let's just make this as a single player game right now and then we'll figure all that stuff out later uh, in it player GUI here we go so this player GUI equals a new player GUI this player okay there we go once you do that you have your player GUI set up and ready to go now we need to look at what update functions we have so we have update view input update tile map pause menu buttons we have a bunch of update functions do we want an update player GUI function yes we do void update player GUI const float DT and remember you're gonna have to work with this Kind of when you have this pause menu and everything, you're going to have to kind of customize it. Because when you pause, you probably don't want your GUI open and all that stuff. So we're going to have to kind of link those together somehow. And we'll figure that out 
as we go along. First of all, we're just going to start this and we're going to call this player GUI update and then we send in DT. And also we forgot one important step and that is to actually call that function, that initializer function in here, init players, this init player GUI. Once you do that, you should be good. Now, at least you have a player GUI. Now you've got to delete it as well. This player GUI. Okay. And there you go. Boom. Now everything is set up. You won't have any memory leaks. At least you have your function. Now we need to place it in here. Now we need to know where we're going to uh, update it. And of course, we're going to update it in the unpaused part. Um, whoops. This player GUI update DT. So I hope I'm not going too fast for y'all. But there you go. Once you have that, the last thing to do is to render it. And here as well, we want to render it uh, after the play. We want to render it pretty much after this render texture. Let's see. Render texture set view. We're rendering the pause menu pretty much at the end here. This player GUI render this target uh, let's see no target right target this render texture I think is that where we're rendering everything seems to be already forgot uh, but there you go target okay okay and this is the target okay all right all right all right, all right, all right. seems cool seems cool uh, seems good Shouldn't be a problem. And the player GUI probably want to render it. We set the default view. So I don't want to render it in the world. I want to render it with the default view. So I'm pretty much just going to do that. And then this wouldn't be required. But we'll still have that. And then we'll display it. And we're good to go. So there you go. Boom. No problems. Uh, try to set views as little as you can. Here we're doing it twice, you know, but this makes more sense as of right now. I don't want to forget this later, so I don't want to remove it. Um, you know what? I could just do this, actually. So this will set it, and here we'll start rendering the GUI and stuff, everything. I could even comment that in, actually. Render GUI. Okay. Okay. All right. Well, that looks, that looks cool. Anyway, there you go, guys and girls. That's it for this video. At least that works. Let's just try to run this. Probably it's going to crash, but we'll probably fix it in the next video. Um, let's just see. Let's just build this whole thing and we'll see what's going on. Hopefully we'll at least run. I don't know where this error is. Okay. This map size. All right. We're going to have to fix that. Okay. And it's game state. Okay, didn't crash. Didn't crash. Looks good. Looks good. Nothing is being rendered though, but that's cool. It doesn't crash at least. Uh, there you go. Thanks for sticking with me. Thanks for watching the video. Thanks for all the support and everything. I hope it's going well. Keep working hard and I'll see you guys and girls in the next one. All right. Bye-bye.